Mr. Frank Sawyer. I brought a brief copy of the Gazette. I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of what I became aware of, which is that the Wilkes-Barre City taxpayers are probably in for a shock within the next few years uh, as we begin to pay down our Johnson Controls uh, contract that was $5.9 million, but we're going to pay back about $10.9 million because in this city, we don't know what capital improvement project or budget is. We can do one, even though our charter calls for it, we just ignore it. Uh, so with that, in years 2016 and 2017, our payments jumped from quarter of a million dollars to three and a quarter. And I tried calling the mayor's personal trainer turn uh, city spokes joke. She doesn't return my calls or get back to me via email. Even though I have all of my emails, I must commend Mr. Baruch response same day always. Thank you, Mr. Baruch. Uh, I wish our spokes joke would do that, but she won't. So on to that issue. But again, I, I did bring that because I want everyone to be aware uh, that we're probably going to be laying off firefighters once again in 16 and 17 or declaring distressed city status to pay for that. Coincidentally, what year does Mayor Layton leave office? Anyway. Uh, I made some notes as folks were talking. I agree wholeheartedly with Mr. Gallagher on the uh, idea of a Google calendar, uh, similar to the one that Wilkes-Barre City taxpayers have rolled out on their website, um, that could be linked to anyone's smartphone and they would be alerted uh, automatically when uh, uh, anything on the calendar, such as council meetings, trash pickup, were listed. Uh, as well as I heard um, Drew talk about the ads that, that pay for this. In that calendar, we counted two full page ads, three half page ads. Those folks pay $10,000 for those measly ads? Boy, are they getting raped. Anyway, um, there were a few other things that uh, we got to, and I just wanted to touch on what Mr. Ryan had spoke about at the beginning. Uh, that we're going to begin limiting uh, people when they start making slanderous remarks. Boy, am I relieved because if you all recall last summer when our uh, former city tower got up here and ripped me a new one uh, because my pizza shop failed in the city and, and said that I didn't know how to run a business or anything like that and he ripped into me. That wasn't city business, nor was he limited until Karen Sefferherko objected to that line, which he was ripping into her as well too, and he was uh, unlimited as well. It seems that our limitations are set on people like Mr. Kozlowski or myself or even Linda Urban who was drug out in a chair. But if one of the good old boys wants to speak about one of the taxpayers, boy, we just let them ramble on forever, don't we, Mr. Ryan? So before you limit any good, honest citizen, I dare you, you're going to have to have your police remove me with because I'm going to intercede. Thank you for your response to my comments, Mr. Sorrell. Oh, not a problem. Well, I got to comment. Copies of the Gazette. Uh, on your, your issue about the Johnson controls, uh, if you remember uh, beginning of the year, I voted against a, a bond that they're refinanced. And it's the same scenario. It goes up from two hundred to $500,000. And, and in the last few years, it's $2 million payments. So I don't know where we're going to get the money from them. Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Sorrell. Uh, 